Thanks for taking me to the airport, Jess. Of course. All you have is your bike, Rochelle. You want it. You got it. You want it. Baby, you got it. Just bust the move. You want it. How many moons has it been? <laughs> so neat to see you, kid. <laughs> Emma and I used to be old college buds. I wouldn't call it buds. <laughs> yeah, I used to help her out with some of her little programming mm -hmm. attempts, you know, teach a girl to fish, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Diego, what's he doing at something as boring as this? I was the most beautiful woman in the world, they were. Diego, um, I want you to, to meet Luke. I know you did. I don't mean to be uncool, but I am such a huge fan of your animal magnetism campaign. I even got some for Luke here. It didn't really work. Not everyone can unleash their inner predator. <laughs> <clears throat> you, you don't have enough pets, do you? No. Nope. <clears throat> got a speech to give, if you'll excuse me. Ajax. Yeah. Ajax. No, Diego. Sorry. Have it. Modeling industry, you know? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks. Is it hot in here? Hey. They're jealous of me, you know? They're all just jealous of me, especially him! Dang, bitch got slapped back. Whoop! Hey, if you ever feel inspired, call me. I won't. Uh, listen, guys, I'll be honest with you. That was a complete disaster. Crap. Crap, seen it, garbage, no. Man, there is nothing to watch. Uh, John, are you watching TV on set? Uh, hey, Ash and yeah. I've kind of been living down here just till some stuff blows over. I meant, are you watching regular TV? Yeah, TV. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I didn't, I didn't take you for such an old fashioned guy. I mean, what, do you make your own clothes too? People watch TV, Ashton. Yeah, but don't you think it's time to cut the cord? Uh, ditch cable, internet TV, it's a thing. Huh, well, it's gotta be better than this. Glad I could help. Hmm, this is better. Pretty pictures. Man, there was nothing to watch. Babe, mm -hmm. you got something on your mind? Um, you know, just thinking about having a deep philosophical conversation. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. I was thinking that uh, maybe we could do it naked. It's the office, I gotta take this. Theories to try and control the dangerous crowd in an age of mass democracy. Hello, I'm Misinformation, Emmett's Crossing Regional Information Champion of 2019. You know, from the before times. If you're watching this right now, that means you have access to the internet and have found us on it. Good job!
Our top story tonight, tragedy. The 2020 Miss America beauty pageant has been canceled. <gasps> Contestants, who have been practicing all year and preparing their entire lives, have been devastated by the news. Some even crying for hours in the shower alone. We go to one contestant now, the frontrunner actually, who wished to remain anonymous because she's very humble. At first I thought, like, great, you know, more time to practice. But, you know, now without a date set ever, I'm like, you know, like, what's the point of anything anymore? Like, why did I spend five thousand dollars learning the Melbourne Shuffle? I mean, I'm really good at it now. And do I have to keep it tight forever? Because I'm in my prime right now, and if I wasted on casual wear, like, what is the cure for that? That's what I want to know. Honestly, the only thing that's been really getting me through this is my boyfriend David. <laughs> we met online during the pandemic, and I knew we haven't met yet, but I really can't wait to. <laughs> so sad. Yet so brave. Hang in there, girl. We're all rooting for you.